Welcome to Inside PTI. Today we're going to talk about some high yield management trials we have in corn at the PTI farm. And we've got the, the luxury, I guess, at, at PTI to take some variables out of, of stress management. We've got drainage and irrigation capabilities at the PTI farm. So we're trying to use that to our advantage and try to grow high yielding corn each and every year. This year we were able to grow 368.2 bushel corn in a strip-till irrigated corn soybean rotation. And it was a lot of fun growing this high yielding corn. I give the utmost respect to the high yield guys out there. I mean, the world record over 600 bushel corn to the acre. I don't know how in the world they're doing it. I mean, we, we were in the cornfield all summer long this year, our whole PTI team, you know, trying to, to figure out what is it gonna take to get high yield corn. Can we be smart enough to listen to this crop and figure out what it needs? But 368.2 is the highest corn yield I've ever been able to raise growing corn. There's some things that, that got us there, I think, that are important. Our recycling of water is pretty important. We do have the blessing where we're recycling rainwater. We're putting tile in our fields and using that tile to drain our soils. But then we outlet it into a reservoir where we hold it to irrigate later on in the growing season. It's just a tremendous system to try to grow high yielding corn. There's one of our tile machines out in the field putting laterals in that are gonna be attached to mains that are gonna drain our soils and then deposit that water into our reservoir that we will in turn use to irrigate our crops if we turn hot and dry. We're using the folks at Netafim and we are putting this drip tape on top of the soil surface, mainly so when you come to the farm, you can actually see it. I'm a visual person, I need to see things to believe it and that's what this tape is. You can actually come here, pick it up, see this thing, touch it, and actually see what it's doing out in the field. I also think nutrition is a big part of our high yield management program here. We start with the planter with high concentrated bands of nutrition. We start in furrow jet, and this is where we're putting things like sugars and biologicals in the furrow. Then we relay to the wings of furrow jet where we're looking at phosphorus and zinc. I'm limited to the amount of product I can put in the center of furrow jet just because of how close it is to the seed. That's why we're going with sugars and biologicals to be gentle there. Some of that is live product with that biological, so we don't want anything to really harm that material. That's why I'm positioning the phosphorus and zinc in the wings away from, from the center. We then relay with conceal. Uh, conceal is gonna be my high horsepower products, the salt products, if you will, like nitrogen, potassium, sulfur, and boron. Those are products I can't put in the furrow. They're not seed safe. So we kind of reposition them with conceal three inches away from the furrow, about an inch and a half deep. And there's no concerns whatsoever about crop safety. There's no risk at all. Now let's talk about what contributed to yield uh, when it comes to bushels per acre. The irrigation was just remarkable in, in what it was able to give us in, in, in the form of yield. Compared to our dry land corn, we picked up over 105 bushel to the acre. So that net of drip tape definitely gave us some yield advantages. Took that, that major variable of drought stress out of the picture. How about nutrition? I mean, there's that 368.2. I've circled it right on the screen. How did we get there? Well, if you go to the left side of the screen, the bottom left, you'll see our control. And that was irrigated, but it just had dry fertilizer on this particular part of this, this high management trial. Look at what happens when we do a reallocation process. We remove some of, some of our dry fertilizer or reduce the rates, and then we come in with the split application on the planter, looking at the furrow jet center, furrow jet wings and conceal, like I mentioned before, doing it in combination and driving that yield up to the tune of about 32 bushel to the acre. Here's our placement of product that, that I mentioned earlier. We, we sometimes refer to this at PTI as a five point touch, the three bands in the furrow and then the two bands in conceal, again, three inches away from where we planted the seed about an inch and a half deep. But this five point touch gives us the ability to kind of spoon feed our crop. Think of that, that young seedling corn plant maturing, that, that the root system growing in size and having multiple bands of fertilizer to continue feeding that plant. That's what we're doing with these planting applications. One of the biggest things I've learned on the PTI farm is no more one and dones. We can't hit the magic button and say, you know what, I'm going to do this one time and it's going to give me high yield all the way to the end of the season. It's doing things a little bit at a time. The spoon feeding, the high concentrated bands, not just in one spot, but in multiple forms. Kernel size, I think this is a part of high yield too. I mean, not only how many kernels we have on an ear, but what do they weigh? I mean, here size-wise, you see corn kernels on a quarter, a nickel, a penny, and a dime, but what do they weigh? And this year, we're, you know, we got corn weighing 61 to 63 pounds a bushel. Number two, yellow dent corn's 56 pounds. So obviously we're better than that. 
that's going to drive yield if we can continue to make this corn weigh heavy. This is our high management corn. Look how green, look how healthy it is. Again, this is where we're spoon feeding crop nutrition. I'm not putting more than what I need on. I'm just putting enough on to, to continue making it happy every single day. This is my low management corn. This is dry land. I don't have the opportunity to irrigate this and I can't do high management practices on this corn and it simply died and dried. There was a lot of corn in the area this year that died and dried. And this is why part of the reason we had over 105 bushel yield difference between these two scenarios. Today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is high yield corn takes high management. We say this all the time when we're crop scouting, are we smart enough to listen to what the crop is telling us and then again be smart enough to react and do something about it. And that's one of the things that we're working hard on each and every year here at PTI. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer or you can email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.